Hello guys, welcome to Birmingham where we're going to launch Civify and uh, we're going to the pre-Birmingham election assembly today ahead of all the big elections that are coming As, and for all you guys out there listening, lots of big opportunities coming your way in this city and beyond. Will Birmingham City Council resettle 100 Syrian refugees from United Nations camps a year over the coming five years? That's 100 for the coming five years. And would you also meet with us, that's all of us, and the representatives of Citizens UK Birmingham, soon after the election to progress this? And all of the other agenda priorities outlined so beautifully this evening by the young children of Birmingham City. John, you have four minutes to respond before the bell rings. Uh, thank you very much, I'm John Council, leader of Birmingham City Council. Uh, the answer to, to your question is yes. Yes. something that we, uh, we have to commit to uh, in this city. It's the City Council saying that, but it's also this city saying yes, this city will put its arms out to welcome refugees from those UN camps, 500 of them over these next few years. We will welcome them, and it's a sign of strength as a city that we can do that. And in fact, the challenge that that involves is actually a challenge for our own city. Because if we could not answer that pledge, then there are things wrong with the way, there are things wrong in our city if we cannot accommodate it. And in fact, the challenge to accommodate those refugees is a challenge to our city to also accommodate our own people. Our own, uh, and one of my, my first priority in this city is children's safeguarding. But my second priority is housing. And actually, it's a place to actually resettle those refugees is also part of the pledge, pledge to make sure we have proper housing in the city in particular. It actually, I think it's, I've been absolutely astonished, perhaps I shouldn't have been, as I've walked around the city during the course of the last four and a half months, by the ability of Brummies to look after other Brummies. And they look after Brummies through all sorts of reasons. It can be through faith, it can be through uh, no faith, it can be through ideology. But people in this city will welcome new Brummies. And when I met, uh, I think most of the 50 Syrian refugees who were settled here just a couple of months ago, I said to them directly, having heard their stories, uh, you are Syrian Brummies, and we will welcome Sir Syrian Brummies to our hearts in this city. And it was, a, it was an honor, but it was a harrowing experience to sit with those new Syrian Brummies and hear their stories. I know that, uh, I think I use my Google Maps on my phone to ask them exactly where is it that you come from and to actually point on the Google Maps. And you know, for some people, those places don't exist anymore. They're not there anymore. So it is absolutely crucial 
that this is a city which is a city of sanctuary and opens its arms. And they say it takes a city to raise a child. It takes a city to welcome a refugee. It takes a city to make a Brahmin, a Syrian Brahmin. And we will do that together because when you open your, your arms to those refugees coming in here, you're actually opening your arms to your own city as well. I'm absolutely delighted tonight to actually uh, to respond to that, uh, to that ask, to respond to that pledge and say, yes, we will. Thank you, Archie. Thank you for giving me the chance to come here this evening uh, to address your assembly. It's an honour to be joining the celebration of the work we've been doing this year. Yes, of course, more than happy to meet uh, straight after the election together, separately both, but that doesn't uh, bother me, uh, to sort out how we can meet this commitment that you so eloquently shown to the children of Birmingham so far as they want the council to take forward this year. Um, but I just wanted to also use this time, if I may, just to touch on a little bit of what actually is happening nationally to help the Syrian situation. Because actually, the reality is we can't be held everyone here. And there are many other people we need to be helping as well. Um, You've heard nationally last year that 20,000 people are going to be taken, uh, allowed to resettle into the UK in the coming Parliament. And obviously we'll be doing our bit in Birmingham, 100 a year. That's a scheme that's working in collaboration with the United Nations Commissioner to make sure that we can uh, help the people who are most vulnerable in the region, which I think is the thing that's most important, particularly women, children and young people at risk and if you need some new medical help, suffers of torture. Um, there are people we need to really make sure we get this help to. Obviously, local government has had significant financial resources. £460 million pounds has been put into the statutory sector to help the relocation process to make sure that the Syrian families coming here have all the support they need. Um, but also as a country, it's something we've really proud of. We've put £2.3 billion into the region in international aid. 1.1 billion direct to the region, the rest of the organisations like the UN and the Red Cross to help deliver on the ground. There are 13 million refugees in the Syrian region at the moment. So what we're talking about is great work we're doing here for the 100 a year of Birmingham. That's 13 million people who need help. And the aid money that the UK government has put into it has meant that as of June last year, 19.9 million months worth of food have been provided to refugees in the region. Over 2 million people have been given access to clean water. There's been 7 million instances of sanitation being provided. 2.5 million people have had medical help. Over 400,000 people have been <coughs> shelter. More than a million people have been protected from child, adult, sexual, gender violence. And we're also doing work to help support the region to recover in the long term. So there's been 600,000 agricultural interventions. 250,000 children have been given an education in the region to help rebuild the region afterwards. All of that being paid for by UK taxpayers, international aid money, something we can all be very proud of. Um, that's why we support those programmes, we support the work going to do. We also support the programmes designed to help local refugees. We sell to the UN camp, as citizens UK are asking us to. And finally, I'd like to finish with saying our group would like to thank all of you in Citizens UK for the work you've done bringing the focus to this across the city. Um, you should all be giving a round of applause that and you have our eternal time. The because of the, the cuts we have from central government, the police in the West Bank have had cuts of nearly 25%, 125% million pounds. Last year the police uh, community support officers were so valued by everybody in the West Bank. We are facing redundancies of the of 400 of those officers who do such a good job. Two months ago, I told the Chief Constable there will be no compulsory redundancies of our PCSOs. They will remain, and that will be a commitment that I give in my election and that event as well. Thank you very much. Because I actually believe we can do more, more than we've done in recent times. I know David's made several commitments about what he will do. I don't believe that is entirely the way it will be in practice. 450 officers, new officers, actually won't be 450 
the officers. They have already replaced the officers we've already lost. I know it's recently made a commitment to make that a thousand, and I can match that pledge too, because if the accounts and the books are around that, we will do it. There is nothing between us in terms of how we make people safe. We all want to put more officers on the street. Fantastic event there, Citizens UK. Lots of social issues brought up. Potentially we saw the new Crime Commissioner. Anyway, put that all to the side. It's now your opportunity to create your own project for the matters that matter to you with Civify. Launch today. Oh,